Welcome back. Uh, you know, a lot of people think of the golden ages of real estate, maybe when everything was going up, and uh, a lot of people also think of Windermere as a, just a traditional real estate company when they hear the name. But they don't just sell houses. They also help people rent them out, maintain their value, the whole nine. Corey Brewer joins us, and uh, Corey works with Lori Gill, and their team has been working with clients needing assistance, finding the perfect rental, and having their their uh, home professionally leased or managed for over 20 years old. Well, first of all, welcome, Corey. How are you? Hey, Ben. I'm good. Thanks. Good. So you, everything's good today? I think so. Yeah? yeah doing all right. You've been watching uh, watching anything fun happen in the, uh, in the real estate and rental world? Um, we've had a pretty busy quarter so far, yeah. That's good. That's good. Tell us about, I mean, most people don't think about property management, especially locally when they think about Windermere. Tell right. us a little bit about kind of how that maybe is different than the regular business or the, the most more known, well-known business. Yeah, I think most uh, people out in the general public would probably recognize the name Windermere over a lot of our competitors in the property management side of the real estate world. Um, we specialize in residential property management um, as opposed to apartment buildings and commercial spaces, stuff like that. So we are very specialized. Um, we started our branch of the brokerage, I guess, um, about 11 years ago. Um, we are a franchise of four different offices, one in Edmonds, one in downtown Bellevue, one on Bashan, and one near Green Lake in Seattle. Um, and uh, that is the Windermere Property Management, Lori Gill and Associates brokerage, those four offices. And so what does, I mean, what role does that play? play i mean you, you guys aren't necessarily selling houses now but right people a lot of people are thinking about renting houses or they may want to buy rental properties i mean I, I, it just seems like managing a property just see, it could be it could mean a lot of things what is it exactly do you guys specialize in yeah well our specialty is residential units so those would be single family homes or condominium units occasionally we'll dabble in maybe a fourplex up to a, maybe a sixplex but um uh we're generally generally working with individual own it owners of residential units um, and we really do everything for them from A to Z as much as they want us to do under a management contract. Um, it'll start from giving a market analysis, uh, pricing out their property, marketing it, finding a great tenant, screening them, getting them under our lease which is a great lease. Like locks, um, locks them down, huh? Yeah, uh, it's one of the one of the key benefits to hiring a professional company like ours is to get the home under management under a great lease because uh, if you're just doing it yourself as a homeowner, uh, you're going to open up your uh, liability to compliance with landlord tenant law, which you probably don't know very well, stuff like that. So that's where it behooves you to and uh, hire a professional. What can I mean? What what's the difference between a great lease and a bad lease? Uh, well, it's it's going to be stuff that's protecting. We have addendums for hardwood floors. We'll screen people's pets. Uh, we've got addendums for hot tubs. I mean, anything you can think of, um, we've kind of learned by experience, I guess. But it, there's, a, there's a lot of stuff that comes with experience in the industry where most people wouldn't kind of think what might happen. Uh, and I think we've got all the, the bases covered in terms of risk management. And, and and is that really what people are trying to do? Let's say, I mean, if you're renting out a house, and lots of people want to buy a new house, they want to rent out their house. Mm -hmm. I don't think they think risk management. I think most people think, how can I make sure this pays my mortgage so right. I can get the other house? I mean, the risk in in my mind seems more month to month financial, and you know, avoiding big issues and tenants who are going to break windows. Yeah, well, there there's the. Um there's the issue of being there to take care of problems on the owner's behalf. I mean, we have a 24 seven, uh, emergency phone answering system. So, uh, if you're, if you're a homeowner and you're renting that out on your own, uh, you're going to be the one whose phone is ringing at 3 AM when a, when a toilet bursts or something. And always that, a toilet. Yeah. So that, that peace of mind is a big thing of what you're paying for. But then, uh, to take it a step further, when we have someone come out to fix that problem, uh, we work off of an exclusive approved vendors list, and so any plumber that comes out to that house is someone that we've worked with before. We know that they are solid on their insurance. We know they're going to do a good job, and um, the, again, it's just a lot of peace of mind that goes along with the service that we provide. I guess, well, it's, I mean, you're, a, you're kind of an assistant in helping people, but you have yeah. this kind of legal background to really make sure things are done right. 
So who typically hires you? I mean, if, okay. you yeah. know, this is really kind of what you start looking at is somebody's going to hire you, but some people mm-hmm. want to, uh, you know, I'm like anti do it yourself, right? Okay. I don't want to do anything by myself that I do not know how to do well. I would probably hire you. Okay. But what are some of the other, cli- you know, what are some of your main clients that hire you? Yeah. What are they? Are okay. they anti do it yourselfers? Um, well, some of them, yeah. Uh, we've got a really broad range of clients all the way from, okay, so on the high end, we might have people who own 20, 30, 40 homes, and this is their investment portfolio, uh, dozens of single family units. Um, and they hand it off to one of our property managers and just let us, you know, protect those investments for them and, and, uh, let them create money as an owner of those properties. Um, it'll go all the way down to, uh, maybe someone who's gotten relocated across the country and it happened on short notice, possibly. Um, they don't have time to try and get their house sold. The turnaround on a rental, uh, in 2011, our number was 30.23 days. Um, so it happens quickly. Um, so they can kind of be out of sight, out of mind and know that we are protecting their investment for them. Uh, some people are unfortunately kind of forced out of their homes financially, um, they might be underwater. They can't sell right now. They have to downsize, move into mom and dad's basement. I don't know, but their house remains as it is, and we can we can uh, help them capture some money out of that house until the market comes back and they're ready to sell again. So what happens when they're ready to sell? I mean, does having a property manager kind of go through this process make it easier to transition to potentially selling it? Yeah. So when a new tenant moves in, we take – 100 pictures per bedroom is kind of our rule of thumb. So a three-bedroom house, we're going to take about 300 pictures um, inside the cabinets, the corners of the floorboards and everything uh, to document the condition. And then we're going to do a periodic inspection somewhere in the middle of the tenancy. And then when that tenant moves out... So your gonna... tenants are not getting their security deposit back. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm hearing you say. We, we refund security deposits. We don't keep all their money, but... Uh, Again, we're we're working on behalf of the owner. We're providing a service to the tenants, but we're there to protect the owner's investment. And so, when we're going to do a move out at the end of that tenancy, we're going to make sure that the tenant hasn't hasn't you know they've done right by their landlord. Um, and I think if if the owner's next step is to sell that house, hopefully we've done a great job of maintaining that property. Uh, you know, we'll we'll do regular roof cleanings, whatever it is that we agree to. Uh, and that house is going to be ready to get it staged and marketed for the sale market. Well, and hopefully the uh, tenant hasn't managed to scrape the inside of a cabinet with a sharp plate or anything <laughs> like that. Uh, we're here with Corey Brewer, <laughs> Operation Manager with Windermere Property Management. Corey, we have about a minute left before okay. we have to go to break. Okay. What do you think that – do you guys then help people transition when they're ready to sell? I mean, is that kind of handled yes. internally through Windermere? Uh, well, no, not always internally through Windermere. A lot of our business comes from referrals from sales agents, whatever company they're with. And like I said before, um, we have a very recognizable, strong name in the marketplace here. Um, and so we get a lot of referrals from sales brokers at other brokerages. And if if they refer business to us, regardless of where they're from – when that when that tenancy is coming to an end and their clients who wanted to sell their house last year but couldn't afford to and the market's come back over the last 12 months we've put a great tenant in there we've helped them capture some money every month and when that uh, seller is ready to sell we point them right back to whoever gave that referral to us um, and so we keep a very uh, open line of communication with all of our referral partners and so that's kind of how the transition works with a lot of our properties. Well, it sounds like uh, having somebody who's going to take 300 pictures of a three-bedroom house <laughs> and make sure you have a ironclad lease is a really good idea for somebody who wants to rent out a house or multiple homes in a manner that uh, where they don't have to do the work and they can feel safe. So, uh, it's Corey, it's good to have you. And again, that's Corey Brewer, Operations Manager, Windermere Property Management. When we come back, you know, owning rentals can be a good investment, but there's also some other investments out there that you may or may not have heard of. We're going to talk about.